Hi, I'm Hannibal Brooks. And I'm Malcolm Brooks. But you can call us the Brooks Brothers, not the suit ones. We've shared many adventures over the years. Getting our food science degrees, interning in DC, taking on business school, chasing a million dollars on TV. Thing. You get the <laughs> idea. It works, boys. It works. But this is the coolest one yet. I need to know everything. Who in the what and the where? I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. Welcome to Double Talk, the show where we explore consumer psychology, behavioral economics, and neuroscience to find ideas that deserve a second look. Hannibal, is it hot in here, or is it just me? It's definitely not you. But if it was hot, research shows would have a pretty incredible effect on how we think. And no, I don't just mean buying overpriced theme park ice cream. Freeze! I love doing that. Today, you're gonna learn six ways that heat affects your life and business. And we're gonna end with ways that you can apply them to your advantage. Six, remember that, six, stick around. Today, we're gonna talk about how a little heat can make you gamble badly, avoid sappy ads, buy inferior products, and choose established brands. You're gonna learn a lot today. Our first data point comes from an article called Temperature and Emotions in the JRM. There's a special region in your brain called the insular cortex. It regulates your perception of physical temperature as well as emotional warmth or coldness. Think emotions like love versus contempt. Like brain freeze. No. Well, not exactly. We'll talk about that in another episode. There are two ways emotions can affect your temperature experience. One way is by activating a direct physical response. Romantic love, for instance, can boost your heart rate, hence the blush, sweaty palms, and awkwardness. It can also make you feel cold without involving your body at all. Remember our first winter out of Florida? <laughs> Neuroscience shows that simply reflecting can bring back those toasty or frigid feelings. I guess it's not surprising that ads can trigger the same effect. Is it time to cite a study? Bingo. Uh, in that paper you mentioned earlier, researchers discovered a few cool things. Subjects were shown ads for toothpaste, one featuring rotting teeth to elicit the cold reaction of disgust, and another with a kissing couple to elicit warm responses like love and affection. My teeth always get a warm response because I brush with Hannibal, wait until we get a sponsorship. They were shown these ads in either average or cold rooms, and surprise, surprise, people in cold rooms rated the warm ads significantly better and had higher purchase likelihood. Not only that, but they rated the room as being physically warmer after being exposed to the ads. So one takeaway from the study is that cold ads in cold rooms are likely to get a chilly reception. So why don't you tell them about part two? Researchers know that we have an ideal temperature or homeostatic optimum in science talk. When our physical temperature shifts away from it, our preference increases for things that move us back toward it, like hot chocolate on cold days. Exactly. In a clever study, subjects in rooms of varying temperatures were shown animal welfare ads featuring either cute puppies or a mutilated rhinoceros missing a horn due to big game hunting. Wow, tough call. Next, they were offered either hot or cold tea. People at comfortable temperatures showed no strong preference, but in a cold room, people who saw cold ads preferred their tea 12% hotter than people who saw the warm one. And that's the tea, sis. Solid proof that emotions can help us thermoregulate. The takeaway? Warm ads at Christmas time are a sure hit. Our next hot topic, why warm temperatures drive you to bigger brands and bigger bets. Hot topic, I remember 2009, not fondly. Research in the JCP found that warm temperatures really raise consumers' likelihood of buying from established brands. When ambient temperatures go up, extra stress is placed on our cognitive systems that makes us far more likely to default to simple decisions based on social proof and avoid complexity. These effects can be massive. 
In a series of experiments, researchers found that at a horse track, bets placed on the favorite horse rose substantially during hotter days, despite the fact this made the payout less rewarding. Cue the long face jokes. <laughs> Every time temperature goes up one degree Fahrenheit, lottery sales fall by $143 per person on average. That's because the numerical selection is significantly more cognitively difficult. This was a study jam-packed with findings. Another experiment showed that subjects in uncomfortably warm rooms were far less likely to catch typos and other mistakes than those in a cold room. So please don't keep it 100 at work. That's giving me the good chills. The team also found that heat made people less likely to buy innovative products versus tried and true ones because evaluation just got harder. When it's hot, we choose the crowd favorite for a variety of products, even if they're objectively worse deals. Fun fact, research shows that adoption of new, innovative products takes twice as long in Mediterranean countries versus Scandinavian countries. That's why we're still waiting for functioning democracy here in the US. Last fun fact, people are 29% more likely to buy a gift for a friend versus themselves in warm weather. Now it's time to double down. Here's how you apply today's episode to your life. If you're an investor, watch out. One surprise effect of global warming may be that consumers flock more towards established brands because heat just makes crowd logic more appealing. If you're planning a romantic gesture or ad, winter might be the right time for you to make your move. That's when people are seeking emotional warmth. I don't think I have to say it, but don't bet or buy anything really expensive during the summer. You may not be thinking at your best. Thermostat a bit too low in the office? Try warming up with some puppy videos or better yet, share them for instant popularity. Advertise gifts in warm weather. That's when people are more generous. See Black Friday for the opposite. Finally, if it's hot where you are right now, I just want you to know, lots of people are subscribing to our channel now. You should join them and become one of them. Or if it's cold, we're clearly the logical, innovative choice. Thanks for watching everyone. And feel free to comment below what you like, hated, or what temperature it is where you are right now. Now you be surprised at the info you get is by letting them talk, so I'm letting them talk. Gotta keep quiet, maneuver in science, then let them in talk up their body, another one body, that's just how it go. I got some secrets, I'm shaking the game so they stay on their toes. Stay in your lane, I to stay on the go. I can't play with the pros and act like a rookie, so they overlook me, then I double up again, none of them know. None of them cold, they just got lucky but never adapted, so I'm telling one of this come with the blows. My enemies cutting it close, I let them think.